Hello, my beautiful art demon army, and welcome back to my channel. Do I have a video for you today? Oh my god. It's Ban Ban 3. I, I hated this, like, this game. I did not like it. I ended up, like, rage quitting this game. It was just that bad. But before we get into the video, please remember to like and subscribe and ring the notification bell to let YouTube know that you want to see more of my stuff. It would be very helpful. Thank you. Now on to the video. Yeah, I absolutely hated this game. I ended up rage quitting. I asked for a refund because I knew I was never coming back to this game. And, and like, it started off fine. The start of the game is okay. You listen to Ban Ban talk. You wait for him to finish so that you can collect the batteries because, you know, they didn't want you being able to, uh, speed run. So they, they put in measures so that you can't speed run the game, which they, they did fail at that. I've seen people speed run it. But yeah, you collect the batteries, you open up the door, you collect some crayons. The crayons float when you throw them into the hole for some reason. And you get a key card. Once you have the key card, you can use the cable car. And, a uh, fun fact about the cable car, do not jump in place while on the cable car. Because, for some reason, they decided, you know what, let's not lock the player to the cable car. So if you jump in place, you fall to your death. You fall into the black abyss below you. I learned that the hard way. You go and you uh, find Stinger Flynn in a room. He's asleep. His model looks so weird because at a certain angle, one of the tentacles is all jagged and weird looking. I don't know 3D models that well, but it, it, I don't know what they did. They did something weird with them. I don't know. Maybe someone else can explain that. And once you wake up Stinger Flynn, you can do a dream sequence with him for some reason. Yeah, you just enter his mind, I guess, and you're at the beach. And he's talking about how he wants to be a brainless jellyfish and how he wants to feel the sun on his skin. So there's that. Then you wake up. To a demonic bam band standing over you and wanting to eat your pancreas but there is no pancreas so he's he, he just leaves you then for some reason like you're stinger flint and you're forced to play the worst game the worst mini game from the second game once you finish that game like once you finish the mini game you find slow celine who warns you and zooms away backwards don't know why she zoomed away backwards it's weird and then you wake up in toadster's area where you you're you're you again so yeah now you have to figure out how to leave that area because of course but instead of well i Actually, no, it's still fetch quest because you have to collect all the cute little buckets with googly eyes. Put them in a place, get a key card, jump on some lights, and leave the room. For some reason, the light puzzle, like that mini game with the light, confused a lot of people. Like, a lot of people that played this game was confused on how to do it. it even knowing how to do it, it took me a couple of tries because for some reason it did not want to count the first jump. Once out of Toadster's room, though, you get to go to the medical wing and do surgery on Nabalina. I thought for sure I would have trouble with this because there's a lot that you have to manage during that minigame. And I mean a lot. You have like three different things you have to... Actually, no, you have four different things you have to keep an eye on. You have to hit the button. You have to hit more buttons to get the right color. Inject the stuff into Nabalina. And make sure the lights are the correct color. But you also have to make sure the little vats of whatever, like, I don't even, Gavanium, whatever it's called in the game. You have to make sure the vats don't, like, completely deplete, which that's not that hard. I didn't even pay attention to that when I was doing the minigame. But somehow I got through it. That's fine. And then you, uh, haha, <laughs> after getting the music disc, you get to watch two spiders do a mating dance. And a Nabalina straight up kills Nab Nab. I don't blame her. Now Nab Nab's no longer an issue for the rest of the game. Singer Flint ends up getting mad at you when you go to progress the game because he told you to leave and you didn't. So, uh, yeah. He, uh, puts you into another dream sequence, which for some reason is a road trip between Stinger Flynn, Bam Bam, a Opila Bird, Captain Fiddlesticks, I think his name is, and Nab Nab is chasing the car behind us. We distract Stinger Flynn, and we crash the car, which I guess explains the blood splot on his head during the beach dream. We wake up as, uh, Stinger Flynn again, and we have to do a, uh, Shooting the targets minigame, which wouldn't have been bad if it wasn't for the fact that the third, like, the final speed is extremely fast, and I got extremely lucky when it came to hitting those. What I didn't know was the next part was gonna be extremely infuriating for me, because I absolutely fucking hated it. 
to the point that I deleted the game and asked for a refund. It was that bad. I hated it. We wake up in a room with Bambolina and a dead nap nap. They wanted to help out, so uh, we agreed to help. You have to wait for Jumbo Josh to be away, collect boxes, hit buttons, and making sure the room doesn't change so that Jumbo Josh doesn't kill us. Simple, right? It becomes less fun when you're stuck on the last button for 40 fucking minute. And you cannot stack extra boxes, double jump, or jump onto the drone. It felt like it was on hard mode. I absolutely hated this air, like this last button, I absolutely hated. And there was no way around it. The button was far, like too far back into the cubby hole. And the hitbox was way too small. All they have to do is make the hitbox bigger. But no. I think they wanted people to struggle on this area to pad out the time for the game. So that people can't speedrun and refund it. But yeah, I 40 minutes on one section, it became less fun to the point where I ended up just, I, I quit. I rage quit. And I felt bad for my chat because they they were trying to help figure out like ways around it and there is no way around it. You have to hit that button that specific way in order to move on. So after 40 minutes of repeated jumping, collecting the boxes, closing doors, and letting Jumbo Josh see nothing has changed, I, I was done. Completely done. Oh, and did I mention this was my birthday stream that we played this? Yeah, what a fun birthday to play Bam Bam 3 and not being able to finish the game because I couldn't get past this one part. I let Jumbo Josh kill me after a while. Also, another fun fact, the pause menu does not pause the game. The only purpose for a pause menu is to pause the game and it doesn't even do that. So if you're in the Jumbo Josh area, and you pause the game to like take a little break, the game will still be running and you could possibly die from Jumbo Josh because you're not in your seat. So yeah, that's also fun. Anyway, that is Bam Bam 3 for me. I hated the game. I will, I won't, when it comes to rating the game, I will not put it as 0 out of 10 because I did enjoy the first part of the game up to that point, but I would say it's about a 3 out of 10. So yeah, that, uh, I did not like it. I, I did delete the game and get a refund for it. That's just, I don't like refunding games, even if I don't like them, but this was just, this was not fun. So yeah, remember to like and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Let me know if you like that all of content because it's new. I want to try something different. I figure why not. But yeah, have a great day. Bye bye